really, really, really ah, scorching hot. Good day, huh? Okay. Hey, so good morning, runners. So today I got very good news uh, for myself. Is because my GoPro is back. So unlike the previous video where it's entirely shot on mobile, this particular uh, video will be back to GoPro. So the wide angle lens, the fish eye effect, is all back, baby. Yes. So uh, for today, right, I shall bring you guys to a place where I uh, when I initially started running in May last year. I quite I frequent that place quite often. But ever since like the past few months, right, I haven't been visiting there. Uh, not because I don't like the place. Uh, the place is not really not bad. But because the place when I ran, especially during the day, right, it can really really get scorching hot. Uh. Hot to a point. The one of the main reason why it can get scorching hot is because uh, the place has literally no shelter, no trees, no bushes, nothing. Yes, it is situ situated as usual in the west area, not far away from my place so possibly i can say this place that i'm running to and i'm bringing to you to you guys to is possibly the hottest and the most unsheltered running route in singapore for myself i can't wait to go back there again and i'll bring you guys along for the ride before i start running there my name is runner cow so normally i do uh, videos that inspire people to keep on running so if you like this type of content do consider subscribe and ring the notification bell so let's go Guys, I'm almost there, it's just up there. <sighs> All right guys, so this is the place that I'm talking about. By now, some of you guys who have been here might have guessed uh, what place is this. Uh, if you look at the sand, this is the trademark sand. All the way, uh, the route uh, is made up of a sandy path. There's no normal like road concrete path. And you can see the sun, uh, how hot it is. I reached here, I took around 4 kilometers to reach here and now the time is around 8 a.m. plus. And I would say this is possibly one of the hottest route. Uh, one of the hottest route uh, I ever ran because of here literally having almost zero shelter uh, when you run especially in the afternoon but in the morning sun at least you are still a little bit sheltered by all these uh, little nets over here I think to block the insects from flying out the wonderful thing about this route is of course this spectacular reservoir view uh, not much places you are able to run along such a uh, really really spectacular something uh, resemble a sea view and if you don't mind the weather, right, this particular place is very, very, uh, I would say conducive to run, uh, especially in the evening where it can get very, very breezy at night. And as you can see, right, not much people uh, run here. Yes, not really crowded and you get a lot of space to yourself. Although the weather, uh, if you want to try to find a shelter along this route, uh, it's almost next to impossible except at the look uh, wait shelter area which is somewhere over there that's the only shelter area you are gonna get and this particular route by the time I finish running here I will have completed more than 10 kilometers because I took four kilometers to run here this round one big round around the circle before you commit to running here you must take note that this is 6.8 kilometers and once you start there's no turning back huh? you are not able to find really much amenities over here after stopping and admiring this place for a while so it's time to get running and complete my 6.8 kilometers run over here so let's go let's go let's go i just started running i'm still feeling super hot already with the sun in my face shelter here if you find it too hot you may you are able to seek shelter over there yeah all right guys so just an update uh, around halfway into my run is really 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 uh, scorching hot I definitely be uh, much more tanner after I've completed this run As you can see I'm all alone it's my playground it's my no, I actually spotted one or two runners. Yeah, but a good place again for Joshua distancing. 
so now you don't really want to run into like very overly crowded places so this is possibly the place to be and spotted another shelter if anyone's really too tired you all can take a rest over here uh, there are a few of these uh, over the place which I didn't really realize uh, until today So that's, so that's the uh, shelter I'm talking about. The one and only place with shelter, cooler and toilet. Yes, let's go in. Uh, watch out, area. Uh, uh, I feel my body really burning hot. Uh, having six kilometers of <coughs> really unforgiving sun with zero shelter. This place is called Pandan Reservoir. Yes. Pandan Reservoir, there's no park uh, because unlike Bodok Reservoir Park uh, it's not built like a park it's just, it's just there it's just there to uh, and there's just a, just nice there's a route for people to run on and there's no amenities over here there's no uh, exercise corner I believe uh, only at one particular corner there is but the rest of the park is not really built for family to come and uh, really have a good time it's just really for people to come here and have a really Scorching hot run, yeah. I, I, I don't know whether to say it's good. It's good for training if you are really uh, intend to race in a very tough conditions overseas. And this particular place will be able to simulate your training, uh. especially now the weather is really really hot. Uh. It's one of the hottest, I uh, believe, months uh, in Singapore at this point in time, as reported in the news. Yes, they say it's very very hot. Stay out of the sun. So for myself, I can't stay out of it because I love running and baking in the sun all in all i spotted less than 10 runners so far so i'm not surprised because this park is very very hot other than the few uh, shelters right that's available for people to rest uh, is the, uh, as compared to other parks right there are three bushes and some buildings right, to shield you from the sun but this particular place if you look at it uh, there's literally nothing to shield you from the sun especially starting from around 8 a.m so imagine if you come here to run at around 1 p.m 2 p.m that time uh, you will really be uh, I think roasted alive probably you are able to bring your eggs here and go and cook as well we'll take a look at this particular 6.8 km pandan reservoir route majority of the route is surrounded by factories so you will hardly have any exit points if you are tired in the middle of the route while the rest of this part where I am at the shelter here is surrounded more by residential around the shelter so let's go downstairs to see what other things we can find so this is the two coolers that give runners some respite you can have a drink I need to have a drink oh, oh man it's damaged oh okay this is okay this is this is damaged as well and this is damaged okay there's a at least a vending machine here okay so hi so if we need to go to the toilet is over here la. fortunately the two coolers here are damaged at the moment so if you are coming anytime soon remember to bring your own water fortunately I did Quite a lot of nice boats are parked over here. Okay. What type of boats are these? Uh? If anyone knows, can you please comment below? Let me know. So it's nice we can come uh, to this jetty. Have a look. Uh, little jetty. Uh, I don't know whether I call it jetty or bridge. Uh. It's interesting. And out I go. Okay guys, back to the stairs where I came from. Finally has officially completed this uh, 6.8 kilometers route. It's really really hot. Uh. Oh, so I was thinking I may think again uh, uh, before I come here in the afternoon again. Yeah, so probably if you want to uh, come here and visit, try your best to come before like 7 a.m. And in the evening of course around 6 to 7 p.m. But Try not to come very very late at night uh, because it can get really creepy. In the evening, it's not really well lit in some parts of the reservoir. So you might want to be careful if you're planning to come at night. So yeah, 6.8 km Pandan Reservoir running at the hottest running route in Singapore. Completed, yes. So again, once again, if you like this video, continue to encourage me. Uh, remember to like, share and subscribe. Really thankful. And remember to stay safe and keep on running. Mm -hmm.
continuing my run uh, to the MRT. At least here got shelter, uh, so many trees. Over there, zero trees. Yeah, MRT, MRT. <laughs> 